All right, we're here in San Marino, California. It's a uh, suburb of Pasadena. It's a well-to-do neighborhood, uh, pretty expensive homes. Excellent school systems. So we're gonna look at uh, a couple of different things. Uh, we're gonna look at the least expensive listing here in San Marino and the most expensive listing available as of right now here in San Marino. And then uh, we'll also take a look at the uh, a historical home here in San Marino. But first, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the Huntington Library, which is a, a park, well, it's a large park that's uh, located here in San Marino, and it has a uh, library, a tea house, uh, art collection, uh, just various things you can do inside the park. And we're heading there now. We are on a road called Orlando, and we're going to Orlando and Allen. Yeah, this is uh, San Marino. Really nice neighborhoods, really large uh, properties and yards. If you have any questions about anything we look at today, uh, just uh, click the description below or leave a comment. I always try to write back uh, as much as possible. Huntington Library Art Collections, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. they're open. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave here. The uh, botanical gardens are closed on Tuesdays, which is when we're here. Um, it looks like they might have private events or something like that on a Tuesday. So we'll have to come back on, a, on another day. Uh, but it's uh, 25 to get into the park per person. And that gives you access to uh, everything that's inside that park botanical gardens, uh, the museum, just various different things. So again, that's $25 per person, not per car. On the weekend, uh, it's $29 per person. But, uh, it's a pretty popular place here, so it might be worth checking out. So now we're gonna go ahead and cruise on over to the least expensive listing available here in San Marino. Uh, the least expensive listing is available for 1.275 million dollars. It's a three bedroom, two bath, just under 1,600 square feet. Again, that's 1.275 million dollars. So we're on our way over there. We're about five minutes away, uh, but we'll get a chance to drive through here in Pasadena. I'm sorry, in San Marino.
So we're driving south on San Marino Avenue, and we're heading to Huntington Drive, which is uh, one of the busier streets here in San Marino. It runs east and west. If you're going to be going to the 110 freeway, most likely you'll end up catching Huntington Drive. And then right here in front of you in this building is the San Marino Police and Fire. Nice looking building, especially, uh, it's probably one of the nicer uh, fire firehouses that I've seen. Looks like a, a luxury home. Like the cop wants to pull that lady over because of her uh, the trunk trunk issue that she had going on over there. All right, we're going down uh, Rubio Drive right now. Still, just what a nice looking neighborhood. This is just something that you want to take a picture of. A lot of folks want to live here, and I imagine that's why the price is so high. Um, 
again, the least expensive listing available right now, 1.275 million. Um, a lot of the foreign buyers who come into this area though, uh, they have chosen to live in Arcadia, which is another neighborhood, I'm sorry, another city nearby, mainly because the uh, building restrictions are a lot more relaxed than here in San Marino. It's uh, much more difficult to get projects approved here in San Marino. And you can kind of tell just based off of uh, a lot of the older buildings here. There hasn't been a lot of new construction here. intersection of Rose and Duarte Road and we're heading to San Gabriel Boulevard which again is the least expensive listing here in San Marino as of right now. So this is a pretty busy street we probably won't be able to get a chance to uh, stop and take a look at the house but we'll at least get a drive, chance to drive by the neighborhood. It, so it's back there on the right but again this is a pretty busy street 1.275 million dollars okay we're gonna go ahead and head back into the other side of town take a look at the most expensive listing here in San Marino. I think a lot of cities uh, in California have their nice parts and then they're a little 
gritty parts of the neighborhood. But San Marino is one of those cities where it's just all just really nice neighborhoods. Whichever part of town you're in. So we're here on Virginia. We just turned off the rain. And this looks like an all California city. The pal palm trees lining the road. Off to the right, we got the elementary school, Valentine. Yeah, nice, nice looking road here. Off to the right here, uh, this is a church. This is San Marino Community Church. Again, San Marino Community Church, nice looking place. And we're coming up on hunting back on Huntington Drive now. So we're pretty close to the most expensive listing available right now here in San Marino. Uh, we're just about two or three minutes away. But this home is listed as six bedrooms, eight baths, just under 10,000 square feet. And it's listed for $12,080,000. than a thousand dollars per square foot. Right, this is the neighborhood. Um, a lot of uh, large estates here on Oak Knoll. Many of them you can't see because they're behind fences and gates. But you can see a few off here to the right. So this is the neighborhood. Uh, 
uh, this home is behind a gate, obviously. So here it is. Can't really get a good idea of it. But if you want more information, just click the description below. Or at least you get a chance to see what the neighborhood looks like. And that's it. That's San Marino, California. Really nice city. Um, good looking areas, good looking streets. If you have any questions about anything that we saw, uh, click the description below or leave me a comment. I always try to re reply as, as often as possible. Thanks again for watching.